Thank you. Thank you to all you guys who has helped me live this wonderful life. It all started allegedly with Marilyn Monroe. We were at a Cannes festival and my, father, my parents brought me along. I don't know if it was for my father's, my uncle Jacinto, or for uh, Lazzi's uh, Tare de, de Toros. Anyhow, there was this uh, up-and-coming American actress who put me in her lap, ruffled my hair, and said I was cute. And that was Marilyn Monroe. Now, what I should have done is, of course, I don't think I did that. And that is probably my greatest missed opportunity. There are other people who has influenced me. Um, there was Tibor Rebenek when I was down and out, who made me a poor man. There was uh, Sultan Petri, who made me realize that academic excellence was without, within my reach. There was uh, Charlotte Wiedenfeld and Knut Knutsson, who led me into Swedish art class. There was Anders Gronberg, who told me I was a crook and made me stop dealing and go do all those things a man should have done. Uh, there was Tabahar Ali Khan, who wrote Man Eaters of Sundarbans, who got this notion of killing a man eating tiger into my head. I don't know if I should thank him for that or not. He was an amazing man, then. Uh, there's been lots of people that I have met. There was Richard Dawkins, who had me evicted from New College Deanery. Uh, there was my my there was Magnus Lindquist, who I think might possibly have been the world's best bridge player, who took me on as a partner. There was Steve Redgrave, who came up and said, "Hi, my name is Steve." Uh, that gave my ego quite a boost when I was big and athletic at Oxford. To all you people, a few, the most famous, mentioned, uh, but uh, none forgotten. Well, actually, I might have forgotten. I probably have forgotten a few. A big thank you for having, contributing to make my life an absolutely amazing one. Thank you.